Good evening, folks. Uh, this is uh, Mark from King's Landing Sport Fishing Project Salmon. Just going to wait for a bunch of folks to join us here. Give it a few minutes uh, as we before we start, uh, you know, the Thursday, October uh, 27th uh, Facebook Live. Just give it a few moments to get some uh, get some viewers going. For those of you that are uh, are viewing, I'd say uh, don't forget to like and share this uh, this uh, Facebook Live. Um, helps uh, helps get the word out to others out there as to uh, what we're doing. So uh, please uh, don't forget to click on the like uh, button and click on the subscribe button. Uh, sorry, the share button. Thank you very very much. We'll just give it a few minutes. We'll get some folks started. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing this uh, this video with you guys today. Um, tonight, I'm actually going to talk about uh, some of my uh, some of my hot rigs from the 2022 season. You know, uh, for those of you that uh, don't know me, um, or those of you that do know me, you probably know that I'm uh, I am a salmon fisherman, and I call it salmon and trout fisherman, but mainly salmon fisherman uh, through and through. Uh, I, I I don't fish walleye, I don't ice fish. Um, it's what I do. So whereas some of the captains uh, on torpedo uh, on the pro torpedoes pro staff team. They are um, <clears throat> they are uh, doing other types of fishing right now. Me, I'm in my off season right now. I'm I'm already preparing for next season. I'm about to start tying rigs. I'm about to start doing a whole bunch of uh, custom painting for my own boat as well as my Project Salmon.ca custom tackle line. So uh, that's that's what I'm doing. So as I uh, see, we got a whole bunch of folks joining now. So as you're joining, please don't forget to click on the like button. And click on the uh, share button. It uh, helps get this video out and hopefully gets more viewers. Opportunity to get more questions going as I, uh, as I dive right in. I am going to apologize in advance. I am fighting a really, really nasty flu right now. Um, so I'm, you know, voice isn't wonderful. Um, but I didn't want to, I didn't want to cancel and bail on this tonight. So I'm going to be drinking lots of water and trying to make it through uh, this this evening. So maybe uh maybe I'll get started. Hopefully we get some more folks uh some more folks joining as uh, as we get through this. But uh, today's uh today's Facebook uh, live here on the Thursday night torpedo uh, live Facebook uh, webcast. It you know I'm going to talk about the hot rigs uh, of myself in uh, the 2022 season. I'm going to talk about I'm going to talk about some of my hot spoons. I'm going to talk about some of my hot flasher meat rig and flasher anchovy rig combos. I'm going to talk about some of my hot flash or fly combos. I'm going to talk about some of my, you know, my favorite artificial strips. I, I'm going to try to give a, you know, a bit of a, you know, 360 degree view of what worked for me. And even I'll talk about sometimes even some of the rods I run these, uh, run these things on. So with that, I, I am going to get started. But before I do, don't forget, click the like button, click the uh, share button. Uh, helps out a great deal. Helps Torpedo get the word out and it helps us share uh, this knowledge with other people. Um, as I dive right in, though, don't be afraid to ask any questions you want. Um, I will say, as I kick this off, um, a lot of the products I'm going to be showing tonight are either from hotfish.ca, especially when it comes to the spoons um, and some of the flasher styles, um, or my company, projectsalmon.ca, um, where I take uh, a lot of the different blanks, 8-inch blanks or the hotfish blanks, and do customs on them. That being said, I, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this now, and I'll probably say this later. Just because you don't have the exact paddle, don't take it as you've got to suddenly change your entire box. And, you know, that might sound odd from a guy that owns a tackle company and, you know, you think, wow, doesn't he want to sell more? You know, I think you'll start to see, and I've tried to group my the paddles on my table in front of me here. I've tried to group them into, like, almost bundles because I've got a, I've got a group of, like, you know, black base flashers. I've got a group of, you know, um, glow and green flashers. I've got a group of, uh, you know, green blades. And, and you'll see themes around how I'm putting things together. Less, uh, so it's less about the exact flasher, in my opinion. I think it's more about the colors. It's more about the tapes um, than making sure that that dot is in the exact spot on the top right-hand corner, if you know what I mean. So that's that's where I'll start, dive, and I'll dive right in. So, you know, first thing for me, um, and again, I apologize. I am fighting a flu here, so I'm going to be probably, uh, you know, having to clear my throat, drink some water so I can uh, survive this because I didn't want to cancel. But the first thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to start talking about spoons. And for me, um, you know, I, I think the number one spoon on my boat would have to be one of the hot fish spoons. And and I like the hot fish spoons because they're a thinner blank. So, you know, for me, if I think about some of my, 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 my favorite uh, probably hot fish spoon, um, it would be this one. 
and I and I use this in both a regular and a uh, regular and a mag. And it's a, it's a simple spoon. You'll see here. It's uh, actually, it's hard to see. There you go. It's got crushed glow on one side, and it's got UV on the other side with black dots. I have that in both a standard and a mag. One of my probably my number one spoon on the King's Landing Sport Fishing Tierra last year. You know, if I think about uh, another really really popular spoon for me, it's actually very similar. It's a similar spoon. Oh, can't see it. Here you go. But it's with green dots. So you know, you'll find as I, as I'm talking today, you're gonna find I love dots, and I and I'm I have commitment problems. I don't want to commit to just one thing. So you know, while this one's got, you see, it's got glow and UV. Some people run a spoon, and it's just got glow or it's just got UV. I love these ones and that have both. And as I, as you see my flasher lineup, you'll see, you know, I, I'm on my own brand. I've got my uh, split personality flashers, and they're again, they're glow and they're UV. So that's uh, that's a lot of what I'm doing. Uh, so for my spoons, absolutely. Um, this one's one of my, my, my number one, number two. Now, what I'll often do is, uh, especially with the standard and the mag, is I will uh, run these on the rigger. So I may have the mag on the main rigger line, and then I'll have a slider above with, I should put that the other way, with the, um, with the uh, standard going up, sliding up and down. Or sometimes what I might actually do is I'll invert them. And I'll have the standard on the bottom. I'll have the mag um, floating up and down. Uh, you know, when I'm when I'm running that on the riggers, I'd say I like to kind of target uh, the I like to target the uh, the main line spoon, probably in the 48, 49 degree water, and that way the slider is typically in that 52, 53 degree water, and it and it's very common for uh, you know the slider to get smashed a number of times. So. But yeah, this would be by far, you know, black dots, glow and chartreuse, my probably one of my favorite spoons. Um, if I'm staying on the theme of the color black, um, you know, I added a couple of other spoons to my arsenal this year. These are these are not uh, these are not hot fish. These are actually some of my own customs um, that I uh, that I, I added to my arsenal. And I spoke to a few other guys, and uh, you know, they they ran similar spoons, not these same ones, because obviously I made these myself, but it's it's a variation of the carbon 14 or the or the you know carbon carbon RV. So this one here is uh, one I made myself. You can see it's black in the front. It's got like the it's got the UV, but it's like a UV crush with the glow eye underneath. Uh, but on the back, what I've done a little bit different. You know, a lot of times you see these spoons, they're like a powder coated glow. Um, it's back to me. You know, this commitment problem I have on the back. I've actually done it differently. I've got glow tape here to try and focus that here. I've got glow tape, but I still kept a silver outline because I like to have a little bit of flash. And this one was really good for me this year. So that was one I added to my arsenal this year and, you know, did quite, quite well. And I spoke to many others that did quite well with, uh, with uh, you know, carbon 14 style spoon. And then this is another one. This is what, and again, it's one of my customs. What you'll notice is different. I've actually put a carbon fiber tape on this. So I'm a big fan of the carbon fiber tape. I'm going to show you some flashers with it soon, um, but big fan. This was another good spoon for me. On the back, same thing. I've got the glow tape, but I've got uh, I've still got the silver surround. And uh, and as someone just said here, you know, in this particular one, I put a I've got a I got a little spinner blade on here. This I think is from an old Lur Jensen spoon I had kicking around, and I put it on. And again, lots of fish on this particular uh, this particular spoon. So. Um, yeah, you know, if you if you haven't been playing around with some blacks uh, or the carbon fourteen, I would say that is a good uh, that's a good good spoon to play with. I had lots of success with that um, this past season, and it was it was probably a newer spoon for me on the boat. I'd been using it a lot for flashers in the past, and not uh, not so much for spoons. Next, um, you know, I I love green, so you know, for me, these are two these are two hot fish spoons, very similar variations. They're green. With with the UV slick tape, and they got black dots. So you see in the themes. I love the I love the black dots. I love the UV and I love the greens. So that's that's good. I only had these spoons in mag. Um, the other thing, and again, these were newer for me as well. Like I just never really ran them before. Um, but I made some. I made these ones actually myself. I didn't bother buying them because I have all the tapes, as you can see, you know, over here. I got all the tapes. I got all the paints. I got a paint booth and and such. Um, so I make a lot of my own gear. Um, but 
green jeans. Hard to see. Got probably a bit too much light here, but a, a green jeans. Um, what I did though is I made sure I, I painted on top of a glow tape. So lots of glow here again. You've got the UV. You got the green, silverback. So this was a, a magnificent spoon for me. Um, I'm not sure. You probably can't see it on the camera here, but the, yeah, there you can. This one, like the paint's peeling off like crazy. Like this thing smashed fish for me. So the green jeans was really good. And then the other thing I did, and I should have showed this one. I was talking about black. I made a, I made a black version of it. And this was another awesome spoon for me. Um, again, it's it's a, it's a, I put a glow tape down first. Um, black ladder, UV tape with that with a black and the glow eye and you know money. So and I'm not sure if you can see, but this one again, it's it's all mangled. It's all mangled from being smashed so many times from fish. So uh, another another good spoon. If I had to think, if I I'll continue on spoons, if I had to think about an old faithful spoon, I think I started the season with about five or six of these in my box. And literally I was trying to find one to show you guys tonight. And I found one. It'd be this one right here. Mixed veggies. And this is the standard mixed veggies. This one does, this one's a silver, silver uh, spoon, green on one side, chartreuse on the other side with orange on the top. Uh, it doesn't even have UV. Um, another, this is a great all around spoon, salmon, trout, um like rainbows lakers you name it this spoon will take my took kings cohos atlantics everything on this so big fan of the mixed veggie if you do not have mixed veggie spoons in your box get some great great spoon and i can tell you uh you know when you walk the dock down uh the marina i'm at scarborough bluffs and you you know i'm on the back row which is charter captain row and you start walking by the charter boats you will see the mixed veggie spoon on a lot of their rods it's a, it's a common spoon and that's for it's for a reason because it catches fish for our customers. Next, um, you know this color might surprise you or it may not, um, but you you might think about it differently than I do. So I'm going to show you a whole bunch of orange spoons. That's, that's not, that one's hard to see the dots, but a whole bunch of orange spoons. So you can see I've got I've got one here with orange dots. I've got like an orange version of uh, of like a green jeans called an orange jeans. I've got you know an orange spoon with black dots and crushed glow with an orange back. And then I've got a similar like that, uh, like that split personality one here. It's like an orange UV on one side, glow on the other with orange dots. And then I got a similar one here that's just mangled. The paint's almost off. You can see the spoon, spoon's all bent. It's taking tons of fish. But what I'm going to, and then, and then I've also got, and this is like an old school spoon. This is an old school enticer spoon. It's got the holes in it. And it's very similar silver with like just an orange piece of tape. And let me tell you something, folks. I know when I showed you all this orange, you all thought, you know what? He was fishing for coho or he's fishing for rainbows, right? I, I know it. That's what everyone thinks when they think orange. Yeah, orange loves, cohos love orange, rainbows love orange, but so do kings. I caught a ton of kings on these spoons. This spoon right here, Old Faithful from, I don't know, I'm going to say back in like the 80s or the 90s, this had some of my biggest kings this year. And it's it's super simple. It's a Super simple spoon with an orange line. Similarly, this custom painted shoehorn here with the you know orange dots and crushed glow. Lots of kings, as did my orange jeans. So my, my message to many of you is, if you don't have orange spoons in your box, you're missing out. Lots of I take lots of fish on orange spoons and not just coho and rainbows. Lots of really nice kings on the boat with orange spoons. So that's a lot of my spoons that I'd say are i focus on when i'm fishing for salmon you know predominantly chinook salmon yes i do pick up cohos but you know I'm, I'm mainly a chinook salmon fisherman so that's what i'm that's what i'm catching with all those those um with all those spoons that being said i thought i would talk a little bit about what if i am actually targeting rainbows or cohos and i you know and i say i've got a couple of spoons that are my old faithfuls and I got a couple of new ones I started with this year, and you know they worked out pretty good. And uh, the first two of these, these are these are orange spoons. Like this is an orange. These are both orange hot fish. One's one's like a, a more neon orange. One's a brighter orange. Um, both hot fish spoons. These are smaller spoons. They're probably about two and three quarter, three inch spoons. And they are chrome spoons, chrome backs. These are money when I'm out fishing for steelhead or coho, especially out in the uh, you know what we call the blue zone 375 to 450 480 these are fantastic 
I'll have these out on, you know, a 100 weighted steel, 150 weighted steel. I'll have them out in a high diver. I'll put them on the sliders. Fantastic. But the other spoons I started, you know, and, I, and it was funny. I got these things super cheap. I think I paid like $2.50 each or something. I was out at a tackle shop in the spring uh, out of town, and, and I saw them, and I went, you know, these would be great. I found these mini shoehorns, mini Lure Jensen shoehorns here. And, you know, these ones are yellow and orange and yellow and red. And they're actually very comparable size to these hot fish small spoons that I use. Very comparable size, as you can see. A little, little fatter in spots, but similar, similar length. And uh, these Lure Jensen did really well. Caught, caught a number of fish on them. And, again, I think I paid, like, $2 or $2.50 Canadian. No, so those of you in the U.S., that's like practically free um, for these uh, for these spoons. So they were great little spoon, you know, for when I'm targeting, uh, you know, coho or uh, steelhead specifically out in the blue zone. So that's that's my spoons. Um, I would say when it comes to spoons, where how am I running my spoons? Uh, definitely, I've always got one downrigger dedicated to spoons. It's got a spoon on the main line. It's got a slider. Always, 100% of the time. Um, from there, my spoons are typically, they're on long lines. They're on like a 100 weight of steel. They're on a 300 weight of steel. Or they're on like a 150 or a 200 weight of steel. I just didn't have packages of them right now to show you. My weight of steel is absolutely um, where I run my spoons. Can you run spoons with a diver? You can. I typically don't. Um, I typically have my divers focusing on a, fly, uh, on a lot of flies uh, and maybe the odd meat rig. Um, that being said, if I run a double diver, I may put a high spoon on a, on a double diver, but, uh, that's kind of my spoon program. So, uh, you know, I do, I, I'm like all of you guys, I got like two or three special mate boxes, spoons all over. And I probably run the same 15, 20 spoons every year, <laughs> you know, add a few, take a few out and, uh, the same ones all season and do really, really well, like, and boat lots of fish. So that's my, that's my spoon program. And I'm not sure I just showed you guys. So now let's uh, let's move on to my flasher flies. So for me, flasher flies. I typically run my flasher flies on uh, on a divers. So uh, my divers, whether my whether it be standard divers or mag divers, I run a lot of flasher flies on my divers, um, and I run my flasher flies on weighted steel, 200, 250, 300. Those are the the, the rods that I put my flasher flies on a lot. I'm I'm not someone that runs a flash or fly on a on a downrigger. I don't know why. I just don't do it. Um, I find it. I find I use them on divers and I use them on uh, on long lines and have uh, incredible success. So let's talk about some of my favorite flash or flies. Um, some of these will be my some of these will be customs that I've made. Uh, you know, an, an offer for sale at ProjectSalmon.ca. Some of them are you know standard flashers you can buy in the stores. And uh, you know, also I'll show you. So um, here's. Here's one that has been good for me the last couple of years. This one's been exceptionally good on a 200 weight of steel. It is a, it's a simple flasher. It is a chrome eight inch, you know, finned type flasher um, with green dots and a, a clear crush. And it's got, I think it's a pickled sunshine style fly. You know, it's green and green and glow. This thing has been, this thing's been great. Um, typically I'll put this out once the sun's up. This is not going out first thing in the morning when it's a bit dark. Um, Chrome, high flash, I want the sun. That'd be one of the first uh, first flashes I'll sh I'd, I'd show you. Next, um, and this is another this is another simple one here. Not a, this is one that I painted myself, but you can you can buy these from many brands. This is a simple green blade, green eight inch, glow, green dots. Um, oh, I can't remember the name of what some companies call this, but it's I just call it crush glow green dots. And it's got a, it's got a hot fish fly. Uh, I think this is a hot fish nemesis. It's got a couple of different greens. It's got some UV, and I think it might even no, it doesn't have glow in this one. Um, this was another really good um, fly for me. This one off, this one I have no problem throwing out first thing in the morning. It's got glow. It's got dots. Um, yeah, it, it and it's it does the business. No, next, you know, since I'm sticking on uh, since I'm sticking on uh, some greens here. Um, this one was a new one for me um, two years ago. I was testing it, last, and then I started offering it to my customers last year, and I ran it steady on my boat this year. This is actually my green split personality flasher that I offer at projectsalmon.ca. 
And this is um, Green Blade. This again, it's a finned eight inch flasher. I've got Crush Glow and I've got, got a holographic, um, holographic, this is green holographic with some black and green dots. And then this is the fly I'm, I whipped up myself actually. I had a, I had a few break offs and I needed to quickly get a fly um, in some colors that I needed. So I basically, it's a fly with some greens, a couple of different greens. It's got some UV and actually I ran out of some, I ran out of glow uh, mylar. So it's actually got some only half glow mylar on it because from a Twinkie fly, but I, I probably made this in early, early to mid August. And it was out every trip afterwards. It did really, really well for me. So um, great, uh, great, um, great flasher for me. As, uh, as the, as I'm talking, I'm getting some questions coming in. So I am getting um, preference on, uh, my my leader length from diver from diver to flasher, so that's a great question. So not I thought I was going to say from uh, leader length on the fly, but diver to flasher, um, it's interesting because I'm a slide diver guy, so I actually like a really long lead. So I'm, on my boat, a lot of the time I'm running slide divers, and uh, I'll run 20, 25, 30 foot leads. Um, I will run. I don't have one on my desk right now, but I'll run like a actually maybe I do. Do I? Yeah. Um, no, I don't. I've only got a base, but I'll run black. I'll run a black. Or I'll run a clear. That's the colors I will use often for my divers, because I I don't really want the fish seeing the diver. I want the fish seeing the rig. So I'm a long I'm a long lead guy. Don't get me wrong. I do still run some standard um, some standard divers at times, and when I do those, I'm probably running an eight to ten foot lead. A little bit longer. Yes, it can get a bit chaotic at the back uh, back of the boat. But it's what I'm comfortable with, what I've had, uh, what I've had good success with. So hopefully that answers that question for you, Tim. Let me just uh, get the question off the screen here. Um, okay, let's keep going on the flash of flies here. This is another one of my customs. I'm actually out of stock on this right now. I got, I got to make more. I'm just waiting for chrome, some chrome eight-inch paddles to arrive. But this is, um, I think it's like a Megatron or a Krypton. It's, it's, uh, it's a UV. It's a UV with a chartreuse, almost like NBK. It's one of my customs, so it's a bit modified. Um, but it works uh, It works really well for me. I have this on meat rig, and I have this on a fly. And then the back, I've got like a, I've got like a lightning. So, you know, and what's neat about this particular one on the front, it looks like it's just a crush UV, but it's actually got a glow tape underneath. So I start with glow, then I put the NBK ladder, then I put the crush UV. So again, it's back to me having this commitment problem when it comes to, you know, do I go glow? Do I go UV? If I can go both, I'm going both. And that's exactly what I've done right here. Um, this particular one, though, I've got, this is this is matched up with an old fly that I got when I was living out in Vancouver, British Columbia. And this is like a Mirage fly, but it's like one of those ace high flies with a with a bullet head. Um, you know, I, I went through quite a few flies this year and I started just going through some of my old old stuff. And uh, had great success with it and showing you guys what worked. And then lastly, and this is probably my number one fly um, since I've been running flies. And uh, this is, uh, it's, it's super simple. It's an eight inch chartreuse spin doctor, crushed glow on one side, chartreuse holographic on the other side. And it has, and it's, this is, this fly is mangled. It has, um, this is like, I think it's called a hot fish. North Shore Special or Hot Fish Nemesis, one of the two. Great fly um, for me on the eight-inch uh, on the eight-inch uh, paddles. Uh, I run three times the paddle for my leader when it comes to flies. So on these particular ones, it'll be a 24-inch 24-inch uh, leader, and that includes the swivel. So if I got a one-inch swivel, the actual leader is 23 inches. So hopefully that uh, that that kind of covers off my spoons and my flies. And as I mentioned earlier, um, I typically run my my flies on the divers. Or I'm running it on like the 200, the 250, or the 300 way to steal. Not, I just don't run the the flasher flies too much on downriggers. So now, we've talked about spoons and flies. Let's talk about meat um, and paddles. And if you're a salmon fisherman, you probably um, you're probably a bit of a flasher or a paddle junkie. I think that's some of why we like to be salmon fishermen. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my blacks. Uh, and I couldn't start with black without talking about one of my one of my most popular um, customs, and you can see it right behind me here. I've got a couple on the wall, uh, my carbon 14 ones. 
um, and one of my most productive patterns. And that would be, and I've got it in three different three different paddles here. That'd be my carbon 14. Uh, this is just an absolute fantastic flasher. Um, <clears throat> it's one of my first ones out in the morning uh, when I'm setting up. It will be, it will probably be the second rig in the water. It goes in a downrigger in the morning. You know, first downrigger is always my spoon downrigger. The second I go to the, I go to the meat and it's probably my carbon 14. You can see I've got this in a 10 inch hot fish and, and actually this particular one, I've got it with a matching head and um, some, you know, hard to see here, but some glow little squids instead of Twinkies um, money. I've got it here on, an, on your typical 11 inch, uh, like, you know, hot spot Gibbs Delta style. What's neat about this one, this is one, something I've been playing around with. I've actually added my own double fin to the back here. So this is actually a double fin that you can tune it and change the change the rotation. And I've got that with a Reese Davis anchovy head. Um, that's also in black, green, and glow. Another great one for me. And then this one here, it's an 8-inch version. Now I'll throw it on a diver. Similar matching head with the carbon on it. Because uh, you know it's my carbon 14. Like I actually have the carbon fiber tape. Um, and then this one here, I've got glow and red flies. And, um, you know, it's a bit of a not so, uh, what's one of these? Not so traditional pattern, red flies, red Twinkie flies. <coughs> but I'll tell you, um, I had some friends, I had a friend of mine land some real big uh, derby fish a number of years ago with some, uh, with some red flies. And uh, I started running them, and I've had great success with that rig. So, uh you know, it, it's uh, it's working, so I keep using it. So that's the first black one I'm going to show you. Next is, and this is one of my one of my customs uh, from ProjectSalmon.ca. This is my split personality. So this is a Hot Fish 10 Flasher, um, Crush Glow UV. As I mentioned earlier, those commitment problems come back. You know why why commit to just glow or why commit to just UV when I can have both? And this one's got black dots. And I've got this with a matching bait head with matching to Inky flies. Um, I, I, I would say I think I'm out of stock on that one right now, but I, I will be making more shortly. And then this is a super simple one. Um, one I painted myself, but again, you can buy it from many places. It's Some people call it Dalmatian. Some people call it glow with black dots. It's just an eight-inch paddle, crushed glow, black dots, finned. <coughs> but uh, what I have done is I've actually got a hot fish bait head here with like a, I don't know if it's like a leopard print or something. Tape and a red eye. Really good for me. This is the first year I actually ran this this head with this tape. I bought a roll of the tape, and you know you probably see it right there on the side, and uh, it did really well for me. So uh, it's it's actually going to be on the website shortly. <coughs> Sorry about all the coughing. As I mentioned to some of you earlier, when I when I when it first started, I am fighting a nasty flu. I'm on about day eight or nine, no eight right now. I think it is. And I just can't seem to get rid of the cough. I'm, I'm feeling 100 times better, but I can't get rid of this cough. So my apologies. So that's uh, that's the blacks. Um, I when, Let's talk about some chromes. I don't run a lot of chrome. Uh, I do have a few chrome when it comes to meat, but I don't run a ton. Um, the one chrome that I do run is actually this. It's this frog pattern right here. So here's a, here's a UV frog pattern. And you can see it's a, it's a chrome blade UV with the green and the black. Um, frog um, frog dots and then on the back and actually I've, I, I did, I've done this purposefully is I've got one with uh, crushed glow and I've got one which is just plain chrome and you can see um, I've made it up with a super simple head on this one it's just a just a crush uh, sorry a UV on a clear head um, like I said I don't run a lot of chrome meat rigs I probably should run a bit more but I have good success without uh, I think because a lot of my rigs um, they've got UV on them or they've got like a lead back or they've got something, some holographic on it. So I think it's got the flash, but that's one, you know, I love, um, this particular, um, frog type, uh, paddle paddle. I do also, and I don't have it here in front of me. I do have this paddle. I was talking to you guys about earlier. It's like an MBK Megatron uh, or, or kryptonite kind of paddle with the, you know, the, the lightning back. I do also have that a couple of those in my box with, um, with meat rigs that do really well, that I run on my divers as well, sm smaller eight-inch paddle. Um, this is another one of my customs, probably one of my most popular. It's it's not exactly the most fun, 
to paint um, because it's kind of, it's very time consuming. I think I I think from going from memory, it's probably three or four different layers of clear coat, different tapes to get the effect I want and have it hold up. But it's um it's a hot fish ten. It's a, it's I call this the UV lightning frog. It's a glow blade, green green top, you crushed UV, black dots, with a lightning back. You see, you get that like the white lightning type back on a glow blade with a matching bait head with matching Twinkie flies. This thing is awesome. Absolutely awesome. Love this. It's in the water very, very often. I can put it in the water in the morning. I can leave that all day. Like I can leave that all day. I can come in, come in from a morning charter, leave it, hang, leave it sitting on a rod or on the bench and um, go back out for the afternoon and put that down again and leave it out the entire time. So it's a, it's a great flasher. And that's, that's actually one of the themes you'll find about the, the rigs I'm going to show you is, um, I do make my rigs that they work in low light, they work in sunlight, because I, I like to be able to put stuff out and leave it out and as, as long as it's productive and not have to be constantly changing stuff. And that's why I have a lot of UV and a lot of chrome and a lot of bling all in one. Okay, now let's, uh, let's talk about some others. Let's talk about some green blade uh, stuff. Um, the first one I'm going to show you is super simple. It's not one of my customs. Um, I, I don't even know where I got this flasher from. I think someone gave it to me. It's been money for me. It's super simple. I, I think, you know, I think someone said it earlier. I talked about the green blade, uh, green blade with our, with the dots. I think someone said it's called a, it's called a green bam. Um, but, you know, this is, uh, again, it's it's super simple. Crush glow, green dots. This one's actually a Pro Troll Frish and Chips. Um, it works. I, I, I'm not saying I love these flashers because the fin, I think it makes them pull really hard. So it's, it's tough for customers, but this thing's caught a lot of fish. Um, I, I actually, and unfortunately, I think they're on my boat. I actually have the same thing on a hot fish um, that did really well, but I just don't have it here that, you know, that I painted up. Um, and just a simple head, green head, you know, crushed glow, and it's got this one with green and black dots on it. But this was really good for me. Um, and then <clears throat> my next two, and you're going to see some similarities. These are hot fish, hot fish green blades. They both have green dots. Um, sorry, they both have some dots on them. They both have crush glow. Um, this one, he, this one has some green holographic on it. This one has silver hollow on the back. Um, really, really good. You know, they both, uh, you know, this one here, simple head on it, just a matching green head with crush glow with some green and green and UV and glow Twinkie flies. This one here has green, black and glow Twinkie flies with this, you know, a light green head crush glow. You know, I would say earlier in the season, these two rigs started with matching bait heads. You know, a, a matching split personality bait head, uh, you know, a matching bait head with a two-tone, and, you know, they got broken off. And uh, during the summer, I don't paint any rigs. So once I've got a break off, then I'll grab the next closest thing, which is typically just a plain head with crush glow, and I'll, I'll, I'll shove those on. But those are my, uh, <clears throat> those would be my green blades. And they, uh, you know, <clears throat> they'll do very well for me throughout the entire season. Uh, you know, where I, where I fish, uh, you know, in the North Shore of Toronto by Scarborough Bluffs, you know, we get, uh, we get a lot of that Niagara water coming right across the lake. Um, so we got a lot of nice green water. So the greens do uh, incredibly well. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me, that, that damn flu. Um, so now. Let's go into the, you know, my final, uh, my final colors before I want to talk about some artificial uh, meat strips that are my favorite. Um, so this one here, I, this is actually uh, one of my most popular customs. I started making these in a the Kingfisher. I then made them on eight inch and hot fish. Uh, I sold them all out and don't even have any more of my own. I think I made one, of, I had one of each for myself because I sold my own, um, <laughs> you know, at the dock. And, um, but I do have a couple of these on Kingfisher and this is my, this is my UV slick or you sorry UV sick. So this is uh UV with like a chartreuse and green dot. This one's a UV blade. This one's a glow blade. You know, what's neat about these is, and again, it's back to, you know, your, that theme from me, it's glow on the backside. You know, I want to have something I can put out in the morning and as the sun comes out, I can leave it out there and it just works. And uh, and what you'll know, this one I don't have I don't have a rig on it right now. It's it's missing its meat rig. This one here, 
this is actually uh this is actually just a uh uv uh it's a uh, it's got uh crushed um crushed uv uh, slick on one side and it's got no tape on the other side the tape must have come off but again and that the very very uh very very good paddle for me whether i have it in the kingfisher the hotfish 10 or the eight inch it's it's great i gotta start painting some more of that one up uh some more of that one up shortly uh because it's uh it's a it's a real producer so now i've kind of kicked this over to my theme of glow and glow green and uv and um you know i'm not going to go into every single one here i'll try and bu i'll try to bucket them together but you know the first thing is you know the first three you'll see here they're all glow blades they've all got some glow at some sort and they've all got some uv of some sort and they've got green the green dots or green and black dots um you know this one is my split personality matching bait head you know twinkie flies green twinkie flies are green uv and glow this one is like, you know, your black IPs, um, you know, it's a glow blade, transparent uh, crushed UV, so it glows and matching head. And this one's got just a, uh, it's got an artificial strip in it. And then similar as that split personality, but I've got this one on an eight inch with glow and UV flies. What's different about this one is I got a Reese Davis, hard to see here, Reese Davis um, anchovy head. I will, I do run a lot of anchovy and uh you know like to like to glow it up so that's the first kind of group the second group you'll see these are when i do commit these are glow so glow with glow with green dots and then my glow you know can't i call this my can't decide it's got black and uh it's got black and green dots on it and this particular one has actually got one of my hard to see here custom there you go custom um white lightning uh bait heads that i have at the project salmon.ca site so with again green and green and glow twinkie flies and this one's got a simple bait head with green and black dots on it and then if i show you the last two um these are some straight uvs again glow blades glow blades uh glow eight inch glow 10 inch um transparent uh transparent um UV tapes, one's flat UV, one's crush UV. This one's the same both sides with a UV, UV and green dot head. And then this one's kind of, this one I call um, Mark's, Mark's Green Mega. You can see I got, a, I got a green version and I got a blue version right here. Um, and actually this is a new head I was playing around with. So this is that similar tape, but it's such a green version. Um, this was This was really good for me. Uh, I was testing it last year. So again, I'll have this one out in the site shortly um, because really happy with this. I, I'm not the only one that has this. You can get it from a few of the, few of the places. Um, but yeah, I, I recommend it. If you can find a head like this, do it. It was uh, it was really productive for me this year. Um, so that's my, I call it my starting lineup of my stash when it comes to a lot of my go-to rigs. It's, you know, you know some uh, someone said nice stock and thank you. I think it was Martin. Thank you for that. I would say I've got lots more, um, but these ones were just some of my really top producers in, in, in 2022. The other top producers for me is um, I started to run a lot more artificial strips instead of uh, meat. I don't get me wrong, I still ran meat, but I ran a lot more artificial. And and I've been using these, the Bite My Herring strips here um, from, a, from a Canadian company here. And uh, so Bite My Herring is the name. These are these are a great strip. This one's actually their mixed veggie. So you know, I talked earlier about how I like the mixed veggie spoon. I like the mixed veggie strip also. It works really great. Um, but then I'd also say there's two others. Um, the first one is this one. It's actually uh, it's it's a glow with black dots. You can see like this thing's mangled. It's even missing part of its tail. Like it, it this thing took a ton of fish, a ton of fish. And Often I would put this out on a deep rigger first thing in the morning or a deep diver, like a deep mag diver in the morning and, and take a ton of fish. And then later on through the day, I think this one's called the greensicle. And this is a, you know, hard to see here, but it's, uh, it's green and white, green and white artificial strip. They got a spine in them, right? So you can bend them. You obviously would never run it like that, but you know, you put them in your bait head, you curve them and, uh, and, and they rotate and they take a ton of fish um and it's good it's, you know i'd say it's good for the recreational guy that maybe doesn't want to have all kinds of meat uh, prepared 
it's good for the charter guy that you know meat strips meat, meat strips aren't cheap right and then we, we go through hundreds if not thousands in a season you know uh these, these things work and sometimes these things work better than meat strips uh so uh you know if you haven't given an artificial strip a, a try i do recommend them and like i said i'm running these ones that bite my herring they're a they're a great they're a great strip anyways that is uh pretty much uh what i got to share with you guys today but i do need to get to the question of the day to see who can win a special prize from the great folks at torpedo so uh as i as i wrap up here and i don't think i see any other any other questions here so as i wrap up here right at the 40 minute mark my question is um uh you know i think many of you know i run a charter boat called king's landing sport fishing but i've got a venture that does custom tackle what is the name of my custom tackle business you know either the name or the web address would be fine um first person to get that question right will be this week's prize winner so let's see who uh who answers and while i'm doing that uh even if you uh you know if you've been watching the video don't forget to click the like button on the video and the subscribe uh uh sorry the share button as well and our winner is mr garland hancock project salmon that is me project salmon.ca that is uh that is the venture uh, you know i've been running it for about three or four years and uh last year i launched the website and it's done it's done great for me so big thank you to everyone that supported me but um yeah so garland you're the uh you're the weekly winner and uh for those of you uh that are watching appreciate you watching tonight and uh you know i know it's the, i know it's uh almost november november 1st is next week i i, I know for some of you are like me you're you know you're probably not big winter uh, uh fishermen or outdoorsmen so if if not you know don't go too crazy inside in the winter if you are someone that loves ice fishing like uh like tony who i know watches these uh sessions religiously um enjoy your ice fishing you know if you're out walleye fishing right now enjoy um just be just be safe folks especially as you're starting to uh you know be out there in the in the colder weather the water gets uh gets much colder and uh you know definitely not as safe if you fall in now versus falling in in july or august so um be please be safe there anyways that's it for the evening have a good one folks and uh, i look forward to seeing you uh next month when i'm back again talk to you later bye guys